They don't get Nathan, but penetration Unless it smells like sanitation Garbage, I turn like doorknobs Heart throb never, black and ugly as ever However, I stay Gucci down to the socks 
rings and watch filled with rocks. Uh, and my jam not in the Mitsubishi. Girls pee pee when they see me. Uh, Never whore creep me in they teepee. Uh, as I lay down laws like Island Coffin. Stop uh, it. If you think they're gonna make a profit, don't see my ones, don't see my guns. Get it? Now tell your friends, Papa, hit it. Uh, then split it in two as I flow with the junior mafia. Uh, I don't know what the hell's stopping ya. I'm clocking ya. Versace shade watching ya. Once the grin, I'm in game begin. Uh, first, I talk about how I dress is this and diamond necklaces. Stretch Lexus is the sex is just the immaculate. From the back, I get deeper and deeper. Help you reach the climax that your man can't make. Call him, tell him you'll be home real late and sing the break. Uh. I got that good love, girl, you didn't know. Look at that song, how it's so long. Thought he worked his until I handled my biz. There I is, major pain like David Wayne's. Low down, dirty even like his brother Keenan Scheming. Don't leave your girl around me, true player for real. Ask Puff Dad D. You bring your bells with bags from Chanel. Baby Ben is traded in your Hyundai XL. Fully equipped CD changer with the cell. She beat me, beat me at 12. Where you at? Flipping job, playing car notes. While I'm swimming in your women like the breaststroke. Right stroke, left stroke was the best stroke. Death stroke, tongue all down the throat. Nothing left to do but send her home to you. I'm through. Can you sing the song for me, boo? I got that good song, girl. You didn't know. So what's it gonna be? Him or me? We can cruise the world with pearls, get a boost for girls. The envy of all women, crushed linen, Cartier wristwear with diamonds in it. The finest women I love with the passion. Your man's a wimp, I get as a good thrashing. High fashion, flying in the all states, sexing me while your man. Isn't this great? Your flight leaves at eight. The flight lands at nine. My game just rewinds. Lyrically, I'm supposed to represent. I'm not only a client. I'm the player president. Uh. I got that good love, girl. You didn't know. One more chance. One more chance. I got that good love, girl. You didn't know.
and life show us so And all they said was 6'8 he stood And people thought the music that he made was good They let the DJ and Paul was his name He came up to money, this is what he said You and OG are gonna make some cash Sell a million records and we're making Yeah, Spider-Man and Freezing full of fact uh-huh. You ready, Ron? I'm ready You ready, dude? I'm ready, Slick, are you? Oh yeah, take it down Girl, I must warn you I sense something strange in my mind Yeah, yo Situation is Let's cure it cause we're running out of time Yo, 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 welcome back, welcome back, not welcome back, but yeah, welcome back, we're gonna rock with that. Yo, we bless that music for me, Jay Prez, I need that music loud, man. that's what I'm talking about. Yo, this is Dre's house, I'm Mr. Dre, you see I got my man Tommy Guns next to me, yeah. we're gonna be rocking out, we expect another guest to come in, so we're gonna let y'all rock out, but I gotta give my shout outs real quick, shout out Kevin Span, uh, King Myers, thanks for showing up last week. Tracy H, thanks for giving me that advice and stuff. I'm a much, it's already up in action already. Cookie Shake for being that support. Tanya, thanks for being that support. I'm watching y'all. Big I, you better be watching. So, you know, what's my man name? Big Sean? Oh, Big A, damn. I don't know why I got Big Sean. Oh, okay, okay. My man Big A in the back there right there. Got his little huggy bear thing going on back there. So it's all good, it's all good. So we're going to rock out for... Nah, damn it, I'm going right into this show. I'm ready for this. Ah, I like that. Don't trust it. Don't trust it. Uh, realest yeah. song ever. There it is and stuff. Bring it out. Jay Prez just always know what to play when we rocking and stuff. Shout out Jay Prez rocking and doing her thing. Yo, we are back, and I got my boy next to me, my man Tommy Guns. That's DJ Tommy Guns. If you yeah. don't know, Google him. You'll find pages and pages and pages of this dude, you know, and, you know, like. I mean, I, I'm no Dre from Dre's house, but I'm, I'm all right. You know, shout out to everybody. Nah, this dude. You know so I'm saying? trying to get to where he's at and stuff. But, you know, I'm grinding. He's just chilling. So, you know, you already there. Definitely, man. Well, I, I want to say first and foremost, thank you for having me on the show. Oh, man. Thanks for coming Yo, through. One man. of my favorite radio shows, you know, like, like I said, this, this is where real music and real hip hop is. That's what we do, man. And shout out to F L O Empire Radio. There it is. There I it is. I said it right this time. I've been here before. <laughs> and you know, you know what I'm saying? So you know, shout out to them. They're, they're one of my 
favorite, if not the like favorite, or just radio station is really representing for real. Definitely, radio. definitely. So shout out to them. Yeah, they definitely give you an outlet to say what you got to say and do what you got to do, and letting everybody do their own thing, their own way. So we definitely got to give them much respect. And uh, real quick, uh, shout out to the Wine Dance Movement. That's what we're doing. One one seven nine eight. Shout out to everybody that's involved with that. You know, whether you're artist or not. Store owner, everybody's throwing that support. We're definitely going to do that Wine Dance Day thing. And we got a fundraiser coming up. So, uh, Kevin, if you're watching, text me that fly, uh, the tickets of the, uh, the party of the DJs of Distinction. Any one of y'all DJs, y'all hit me up, text it to me, because I left my fly at home. So, don't judge me. So, you know, it works like that sometimes. So, definitely. So, what's been going on with you, bro? I mean, you know, 2015... It's going to be a great year. 2014 was a great year for me. And yeah, it was. Shout out to everybody. You know, I mean, I'm all about the hustle, man. I, I, I'm i in this, you know, like I said, I've been working at record labels and all types of stuff for many years, but I always have a love for the culture and just the art of hip hop. And I feel like 2014 was a tough year for just like real hip hop, just right. because there was just so much. Can I curse on this, on this show? You're uh... Yeah, no, oh, no, I'm not gonna curse. I mean, I but got this the, thing up there I, and stuff. I, 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 mean. I feel like, I, I feel like there's so, just so much ratchetness and just, just so much disrespectfulness in hip hop that it kind of is hurting the music and the culture. But 2015, I, I just feel like, you know, I, I wanna, you know, I wanna be that guy who helps bring that next dope MC or that, you know, that next artist that, you know, is is bring something to the culture instead of like, yo, let me get a quick uh, ringtone check. You know, I'm you glad know? you said that. I was going to save this question for later, but you know, you kind of hit something somebody was talking to me about today. Mm-hmm. It was about Nicki Minaj, and she's kind of mm-hmm. like, some people are saying like she's kind of changing for 2015. You know, like, you know, she got rid of more, all that makeup. Le- more or less cleavage? Well, t- a little less. Oh, okay. A little <laughs> less and stuff. But, I mean, you know, she's not doing the crazy makeup, you know, uh-huh. and stuff like that and everything. And people are saying like she's evolving, she's growing up. Absolutely. How important is that for artists? Yo, it, it's probably the... Most important thing, if you think about it, because we're, we're talking we're talking art here, and there's a difference between getting a, a, a hot beat from a producer and recording vocals over something, and then making a song, and then taking the time to craft a song, or you know, this is what my album want to be like. I want to, you know, let me do that. Let me get that instrument. There's a big difference. So, artists, you have to evolve. I mean, you know, if if you're sounding like on your seventh album. The same way you were on your first album, like you're not evolving. Either you're yeah. not a really good rapper, and you're just not like making money, or it's just like, dog. Like I mean, you know. Sh- shout out to uh, cats out there getting money because the good thing about hip hop is like it's a multi billion dollar business. And it's awesome to see, just you know, the culture reaping benefits and getting paid from doing this. But at the same time, it's like when you, when you treat something like uh, a product instead of art. There's a problem. And I feel like hip hop right now, you know, is is going through that. So some people be like, you know what? Let me just keep making look look at Ja Rule. Look at 50 Cent. You know what I mean? You know, like they they found their little niche song wise and right. they just kept making the same song over and over again. And because of that, they kinda didn't, you know, adapt to the times as opposed to a Jay Z or, you know, uh, you know, some of the greats who Do do you think Lil Wayne adapted? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know. I kind of liked him when he when he first started, but now. I mean, I was a big Cash Money fan back in the day. Back when Juvenile was popping, like I thought Cash Money was okay, the yeah, highest I, I, thing. I love their grind. And he they was, was grind. he was wobbly wobbly dropping like it's hot. So I mean, I remember like yo, the little kid rapping like yo, that's kind of cool, or whatever you know. So to see him now, like he, he's arguably one of you know the the top five best rappers out right now. I don't think so. I mean. My and opinion. I'm, I'm, yeah, that's what's up. You know, and, and, and when I speak, I'm not just speaking from my personal favorite or you know only you know commercial standpoint. Like it just all together, I feel like he's got one of the best mixes of still being lyrical when he feels like it, with being commercially successful, right, well, and making hot songs. So that that that's ooh. why I mean you know like, but also I would say Drake is in that top five like of right now. I'm not saying like best ever. I'm saying right now, like who's doing their thing? Like to me, Drake is killing it. Okay, being that you said that, there's a lot of artists, like they they kind of stay in, in the same realm, but uh-huh. it's like, like people say like Drake is not really a rapper. Oh, he's not. You know, he's an artist. All uh, right, and and that's where it goes. Like you you know you got rappers, mm-hmm. you got MCs, and you have artists. Yeah. And you have performers. 
you know, there's there's different yeah. areas. Everybody knows to stay in their lane. They know what what you know. Yeah. I commend Drake and like you know he's he's rocking what working for him and stuff. Yeah. Talented dude, you know, like definitely a talented dude. But he's staying what was working what's working for him and stuff. But for some reason, I just can't. There has to be growth. I mean, I just can't get it. You know, um, who's the example of that? It's. Uh, I would say like somebody that's a good example of that is Buster. Well, see, I I think Bust is really dope on some lyrical. Like, I just, yo, he's been in the game like twenty plus years. Right. So, I mean, after a while, it's just kind of like, you know, if your heart's not in it, that's cool. I mean, you know, you might, you know, um, I, I want people to put out albums as long as it's in their heart, and not just like, yo, I gotta do it. Let like me I remix sign. my greatest hits, oh, and then get the, the whoever. You know what I mean? Like, you know, like I, I, I respect cats who like, you know what? Chill out. Like, like, like Outkast. Yeah. I would love for there to be another Outkast album. You don't know. But they're probably my favorite rap group of all time. They're, I put them in the category of every situation. Yeah. MC, rapper, performer, Just like talent. art. Like they, they made songs that nobody had made until they made them. Just from, I, I mean, because, you know, like the they basic, the they the basic the song is like instrumental loop, hook, and that's what's up. But then, you know, like I, I like people like, you know what? Like my song doesn't have to be three minutes. It's going to be seven minutes. And you know what? In the middle of the song, I'm gonna change the beat up. Like, you know, I, I I respect that. You know, but Outkast. I mean, you know, I would love for there to be another album. But if they can't come together on some real, like, yo, I feel this in my heart, or it, it, as opposed to like, yo, I got this check from uh, BMG or in this dude's album, I don't even want them to do it because it's like it's like a legacy thing, you know? Right. You don't want to see. You want to remember DMX for how DMX was, not like. You know, you don't you don't want not to put Arizona out the gimmick. DMX. I'm not saying you know like he, it, it's gonna happen. I don't know if it's not, but you don't want DMX to put out the gimmick album. In, in, I don't in, think he would do that, man. If the check is right, I've seen a lot of cats do a lot of things. Yeah, you true, know true. You know, because a lot of people I remember, sold out. I remember when X was X. You know, so it's like I don't know, man. At the same time, he, even when he did, he went with the little religious thing and stuff on the poetry. His uh, poetry is crazy. I mean, you know, I, I'll say this. Um, last year, uh, we had the Def Jam 30th anniversary concert, mm -hmm. and they had everybody like in the history. No, not, not every single person, but a lot of I people. I wasn't invited. Yeah, sh shout, shout out to, uh, you know, shout out to the label <laughs> with them tickets. <laughs> and then, you know, there, there's so more, so more I wish I could say on that, that subject, but, you know, <laughs> yeah, okay. the bills got to be paid. But, <laughs> you know, you know um, but it, it was cool because um, you got to see, like, the, not, not just, like, you know, Rick Ross's, and who's hot now, but, yeah, like, Onyx's, Warren G's, and DMX came out. Right. Performing alongside, like, you know, Rick Ross, Jeezy, and all them. Out of all the performers, I probably got to say that DMX might have been the most entertaining part of that entire concert. And that's including Rick Ross, 2 Chains, you know, Red Man, Met the Man. I just think he makes you yeah. want to see him. After you, a while, you, he you, started rapping. Not, not to cut you off. I saw he started rapping. He just started talking. And then, like, like if everybody doesn't know, like, he really talks how he raps. Right. You know what I mean? So, you know, he was on there. Like, it was, it was just him talking about the industry. And it was... I'm gonna send you that. I, luckily, I was able to film it. I'll send it to you. It was just like some of the realest stuff I've ever heard. I was just like, yo, yeah, DMX is still the man. He, had, uh, he was on Death Poetry Jam and he did this poem about the industry. And it was ridiculous. Mm -hmm. Now, and everybody was sitting there. They didn't expect it, but it was dope. Mm -hmm. it, was, it was dope and stuff. I had to give him props on that. I, I, that was crazy. Yeah, yeah, he definitely knows. I mean, him is like, you can get hyped no matter what, you're gonna get hyped. It's not too many artists yeah. that you're gonna go see that you're not gonna get hyped. Because you know what? Like, it feels like it's coming from his soul. I think it, we were talking earlier, you know, kind of loop back to what we were talking about. Right. With the, today, I feel like we got a lot of these rappers. Like, look, look, look at, for example, Rich, Rich Homie Quan and Young Thug. Like, let's be real. Are they bringing anything to the culture? No. Not at all. They're, they're trying to take, get as much as they can out of it, which is not a bad thing. But do what you gotta do. When you hear them, you're not thinking like, yo. I can relate to them. You're thinking like, yo, this beat's mad catchy and I'll play it for now. But after a while, it's like, you know what I mean? You know, like. It's nothing impactful. Yeah, like, like DMX, when, when he spit, like, you felt it in your soul. Like with Nas, like certain artists, like Big Hun. De La Soul. I'm a big yeah. De La Soul fan. Yes. You know, like, Shout out Amityville, Long Island. Also one of my, my favorite groups. You know what I'm saying? Like, when they made their music, that was so them. You were like, yo. Like, it was just different from anything you heard. That's artist. Everybody, you know, Tribe Called Quest. Everybody just yeah. just gut punch you like this is this is my sound. There's no yeah. new sound. I mean, what's the newest sounds coming out was like that that down south stuff. Yeah. I mean, they making money, but I mean, 
I want to go to a concert mm-hmm. and I want to be, I don't care if I'm in the back. Yeah. Like, like you know, shout out Jay-Z. I like Jay-Z, but uh-huh. I wouldn't go to his concert because 9 out of 10, I ain't paying those nine? prices. Not unless I'm getting in free or something. But I want to be like, if I went to a DMX concert, it's like 60,000 uh-huh. and I was in the back, I would be hyped like I'm on yeah. the, like I'm in the front. That's I, I, exactly what you're saying. Like, like s- some people' performances are so good, it doesn't matter where you're at. In the exactly, middle. I could watch the screen. Yeah, like, yeah. Right and then other cats, it's like if you're not right there in front, like who cares? Because they're only walking back and forth with the mic. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and it's no nobody's giving performances anymore. Oh, man. You know, and that that really kind of irks me and stuff. I, we we weren't going to talk about this till later, but we on it now, so mm-hmm. we get into the other stuff later. But for me. Mm-hmm. You know, for me, to, I love to see. That's why I always like to go see new artists. Yeah. You know, because Absolutely. I sit there, I judge showcases. You know, I've had judge showcases. You know, I need to judge more. Need uh-huh. that money. But um, but when it comes down to it, it's like I you would lose me if you got first thing, you got too many people on stage. Mm-hmm. Okay, you take it. I can't even watch the artist. I can't. I can't understand what you're doing. Yeah, you got too got much going on. It's yeah, like thirty people. And you're like, wait, which one's rapping? Yeah, and <laughs> and then what kills me is people, and I hope you can agree with me. To stay on the stage, that irritates me so yeah. much. Shout out one of a kind. Those two artists would never get off the stage, and they know how to work the whole mm-hmm. stage. So shout out to those brothers and stuff. But. Yeah. You know that irritates me, and I'm you know as soon as I see, I'm like, yeah, mark them off the list. And you probably could be a dope artist and stuff, yeah. but you know you'll lose me right there. It's Come. entertainment. The, the other half of this equation, because people always ask me like, yo, who are artists? Who are labels trying to sign? How do I get signed? What do I got to do? The, the the secret is it's a two part process. A you got to have records. If you don't have a hot record, it don't matter who you are unless you're like. Uh, I don't know Just doing something crazy You know what I'm saying Like you know Like you better have The craziest dance in the world Or it doesn't matter Like you gotta have the records But you also gotta remember Like you gotta be entertaining I know like so many Like artists Like they're, they're dope You know a lot of them You know unsigned artists Like right. lyrically they're crazy But that's all they know How to do Is just spit bars Into a mic You get them on stage And they're just walking Back and forth Like that Don't know how to hold The mic and stuff Yeah I mean if, if y'all You know if y'all Don't believe this and stuff Um like Buster wasn't signed to a label for a long time. Yeah. You know, and everybody said that like, oh, he was. No, he was just getting on everybody's joint because he knew how to rock a party. Yeah. You know, I put him in the same area of how to rock a party, how to get the crowd going as yeah. KRS One. There's a difference between being a rapper and being an MC. Exactly. Ma- MC, master of ceremonies. Like you have to basically what that's saying is like, yo, you're taking over the crowd. You're the master of everything going on right there. You have to be so entertaining that they're like, yo, let me stop looking at this chick booty to pay attention to this cat rhyme some words together. That's entertainment. And, you know, some people got it. And some, I mean, you also got to practice. You know, like, that's another thing. Like, a lot of the upcoming artists and all that, like, mm-hmm. yo, don't think you could just drop some bars on a mixtape and then all of a sudden you're getting signed. Like, you got to practice your performance so to the point where the, the fans want to go see your show. Okay, I'm glad you said that. Because mm-hmm. I, I say this to a lot of artists, and they be looking at me like I'm crazy or something like that. Mm-hmm. I tell a lot of young artists, once you feel like you got a performance track or you feel like you can do your thing, uh-huh. you just did a hot track or what you think is hot, go to those little BS showcases, yeah. pay the little $10 a song, and then rock it out. Yeah. And use that for practice. You know, because you get, you get in the stage, you get in the crowd, no matter how many people in there. And rock it out and do that like yeah. three or four times and stuff and take you know, change it up each different time to see what's gonna work. A lot of MCs, a lot of rappers, and they you know, they ask me and I'm like, yo, you know, like song is okay, but I wanna see you actually do it yeah. and stuff. So just you know, you should go to this showcase, pay the ten dollars, rock the song yeah. out. I'm not doing that and stuff, my stuff is hot or whatever and stuff. Nah, it's stupid. You know, one of the things one thing I I hate about uh hip hop right now is that Everybody, all the new artists are coming out. Everybody's a superstar. Everybody's rich. Everybody's got dough. Like they got ten, ten chicks. Like they got Bentleys and Ferraris outside. None of this is true, but you know, on records, that's what they're saying. I got money. I'm getting money. This and that. Da da da. Like the average person, you know, like the re- you know regular people. Not to say average, like regular people who you know have jobs and families and lives. Right. Like we're the ones that will, you know in theory make them rich. But it's 2015. Like we're not buying nothing unless it's hot. Exactly. You know. So for for us to 
support monetarily, like you know, support financially, you gotta bring something, uh, bring an emotion out of us. You gotta motivate us to do something. Or you know, remember back in the day, like the Far Side, one of my favorite groups. She keeps passing me by. Exactly. That's such Love a that real video. So, that's such a really yo. Um, uh, I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I, you know, you know what I'm saying like yeah, Eminem. Listen, a lot of Eminem stuff. He talked about not getting chicks, and Eminem's never bragged about how much money he made. You know, like like you even, know he's making crazy even money. Early Kanye, early Kanye was like, "Yo, I'm, I'm, I'm ill. I just want to be heard." Da da da. Like you know, what I'm saying like you know, like you have to relate to real people on on a certain level, or you're never gonna make it. Because the the D boys out there, like they buy blue legs. You know, what I'm saying like you know, um, the rich people out there, like they get the copy for free. Exactly. You know what I mean, like, who who are you uh, trying to reach? Are you trying to reach people who are not even going to spend money on your album? Or are you going to make something, make something we could fill? You know? Yeah, a lot of people don't get that and stuff. Like, you see all these artists in the videos and stuff and all that. That's not their money. That money's getting right back. That jewelry's going right back in the case. For real. There's a big security guard sitting there with a case, ready to take his stuff back. That's not their car. You know. And, and if they're not careful, they might owe. Oh yeah, you know what I'm saying? and that happens quite a bit. I can say like the only person people that is actually flaunt their money, mm -hmm. Mayweather. Well, he makes like ungodly money. Yeah. Like, so it's like, <laughs> yo, when, when you're getting ten million dollars, like for like let, let's say two two hours, three hours of work, with, yeah. you know, however long a boxing match is, like, and then you got to think the promotions added on to that. Yo, it's so much I, more. I can understand you not knowing how to act because he gets a cut of the pay per view. Yeah. So that's another like fifty, sixty million. Yeah. You know what I mean? But but that money and rap money is two different monies. Big time. That's the difference. Like, like I, this is the thing. I'm in the marketing field, so I, I'm a master of making things look cooler and more popping than they are. Or right. making them look cooler. Which cool he's never worked with me, so let me make that, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know, like, it, in, in <laughs> essence, you know what I mean? Like, that's what advertising is. Like, this burger is the best burger you ever, you'll ever taste. New burger from Burger King. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, right, right. You know, like, you know, so, you know, um... Behind, you know, when the video was done and, and the magazine, you know what I'm saying? The magazines with the cool photographer, with the cool cameras, taking those crazy shots, like, you know, or the, the filter on Instagram. Like, when you, see, like a chick on Instagram, for example. You on Instagram? Of course. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm sure in your timeline, not that you look, but I'm sure you glance to see, like, chick, you know, certain chicks. Yeah, and, and they got, like, like 1.9 million yeah, thousand you view, know, uh, followers and stuff like to that. To let Instagram and that filter tell it. They are just like, you know, like the, the hottest chick on the planet. But then when you see a lot of them in person, you're like, wait a minute. You're dark skinned. Or, you know what I mean? Or like, yeah. wait. Like, it's a lot of makeup. Yeah, yeah. Things you know what I mean? There. Like, you know, I thought you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know, so similar to that, like, you know, a lot of these artists, like, you know, they, they're, they're telling us, they're, they're selling a, a lifestyle. But a lifestyle that they're not, they're not even yo, living themselves. Me, yo, a lot of these artists aren't getting the money they say they're getting. A lot of these artists are single and lonely. On some real, you know what I'm saying? You don't know. let love and hop, hip hop fool you, y'all. Yeah. Don't let it get you. Oh, oh man, Let's don't see. even get me started on that. You know? Yeah, I, I will never watch love and hip hop. I just watch the girls, man. Just watch them walk by. I can care I'm less not mad about. At that. I'm, you know. I can care less about. Uh, uh, there we go. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> just look at the. Yeah, I don't. I don't Sh know. Shout out to Erica Mena. Her body is the truth. Yeah, in yeah, real yeah. life. Yeah. You know to hear his body is the truth. In yeah. real life, and her girlfriend too. I she can get it. Uh huh. Um, I don't know, but what's uh Yandy? I'm kind of liking her flow. I like her powerness. You know, she's power check, but I mean, DC See, dude. I, luckily, I've boy, I've uh, banned myself from watching Love and Hip Hop after a certain point, so like I don't even know who these characters are, and I'm happy. About well, them. good, Yan <laughs> Yancy. That's a ride or die check. Let's put it like that. That's a ride or die. Yeah, she done been through know. some stuff, and she's still riding hard for homeboy. So let me let me tell you a story though. Um, oh, I just tell a story. We're gonna news. go on break right after this. Right. Oh yeah yeah yeah. You know not to cut into the commercial time and all that. But, no, you got um, time. Yo, uh, I just seen this article and you know how uh, the chick Mona Scott that did Love and Hip Hop. Right. She was trying to do that sorority show. Yes, yeah, got canceled. They canceled it because the the fraternities and the sororities tripping. They, they were trip. Yo, to them they were so offended that they you know used their their they should be offended power to like yo complain like make them lose sponsorships. They went the nation yeah. on the air. To the point where now they're canceling the show. They're going to show and the last three episodes coming up. Now. Yeah. I, I read that article. That's a wrap. You know what I mean? So to me, I mean, th there's certain things, I think, in the culture that are destroying the culture, whether we realize it or not. Exactly. And just for example, 
for all you disgruntled hip hop heads out there, here like we, like me, comes. who you know are just tired of the way things are, you really can make a difference if you take a stand and like, nah, I think this is this is how I feel, you know? Like so much could be changed if people try to go against the what's the norm and you know what I mean? Like, yo, this is how I feel. You know, if artists were like, you know what? All that over there is BS. This is real hip hop. Let me show you. And they put their heart into it like that. Not only would people support it, but I, they would win. But there's, there's such You're a, right. There's such an open lane for real hip hop right now. Right. Yeah, yeah, no doubt. Look at J. Cole. J. Cole didn't even do much promotion. And you know what I'm saying? Like, there was such a, a hunger for real, authentic hip hop. That's why he won. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to say this, and then we're going to go on break. Mm -hmm. um, there's one thing that should have happened. I've said this before, and I. And I, I just got to know how to do it. And I'm, I'll probably need to talk to you about that. Mm -hmm. We need to have more conferences, Absolutely. round tables and stuff. We need to do a lot more. Have some young artists, have some legit people who's in the business. I've been to a few of them. Shout out Mike Hands, uh -huh. who I did one and stuff. And I thought it was the most informational thing I've ever seen in my life. You know, I was so happy just to even be in the crowd, just to listen to these, uh -huh. these people that's actually doing things. And they broke it down very simple. So I thought that was so, I mean, they broke it down to the simplest thing. That's what we're going to talk about, correct marketing. Mm. When we come back and stuff, that's why I definitely wanted you on here. So stay tuned in. Yeah, no doubt. I'm Mr. Dre. This is DJ Tommy Guns. Big Big A's in the back. This is Dre's house on FLO Empire. Take me on commercial, there, J. Prez, please. Uh huh. When I step up in the place, say yo, I step correct. Got you all in check. I got that head nod shit that make you break your neck. I got you all in check. And you know we come through to wreck the disco tech. I got you all in check. Throw your hands up in the air, don't ever disrespect. I got you all in check. Bust the rhymes up in the place, the true in need. Yes, I got the record that's word on my feed. I'm guaranteed to give you what you need. One blood, everybody like to your read. Wake up every morning, your white must succeed. Nationwide, your cars make the world stampede. Yo, Willie, make we roll some weed. Man, charge, nigga, now I must proceed. Yo, we about to make moves, set speed. Beast to make me fight, q tip, I need Shahid. Watch me knock you out like a pot of weed. Body blows, busting your shit, making you bleed. Just feed more dynamic flows and take heed. Need more information, homeboy, than just weed. Hey, you can read all about the pure breed. Do the mobile dance, my do the pet by When I step up in the place, then yo, I step correct. Niggas right out my window Blast your ass, hit you with a direct blow Blow! 
Coming oh, through like G.I. Joe Star Wars moving ill like Han Solo Make you bounce around like this was Calypso Always shine cause I got the high pro glow You think that you can hide, you think you can lay low Roll up on your ass like Hawaii Five-O Mac out with my dreads in my Kango Forget the moment nigga just bash the Cisco Yo, take a trip down to Mexico Come back with that shit that might make you psycho Maximum frequencies through your stereo Sorry this is it but homeboy I got to go Hey, we got a good thing Don't know if I'ma see you again But is that a good thing? Cause girl, I can't be your man No man, I know what's on your brain You probably hope it never would end Like is it the real thing? Or is it just a one night stand? Well then, let me see you get high And go low Now girl, won't you drop that thing down to the flow? I'm here for one night, half fuck where you go I wanna see you work out Between me and you, we can 
find each other flying abroad in my private G2. I ain't trying to G you, but I'm trying to see you bend over. You know how we do it, feet to shoulders, bring heat to cold this night. So ferocious, now you street promoting the dick game is potent. Cause in the bed, nigga go hard like Jordan, sweat pouring, loving the way you be moaning, gripping the sheet, looking at me, licking at me. Cause every woman just wanna be happy, and it's crazy, but baby, I love it when I'm with you, baby. There's a better day better You're coming, day. I'm hooked on your love and believe me believe And when you hold my body, I know you need me Wait for me, baby I've been going half crazy for your love And I was told that the sex is better than drugs Been getting addicted, boy, listen The only piece of the puzzle you're missing Like when we kiss it Bye, bye Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. This is Dre's house on FLO Empire Radio. We in the building. I got my man DJ Tommy Guns in the building with me here. And uh, I'm going to tell you something the cookie said a few minutes. You know, she thinks she's getting off that easy. Mm. But um, she's probably going to laugh at this. And also, you see, I got my man Big A sitting in with us and stuff. He was sitting in the back, you know. He lucky <laughs> came to the camera because he was about to get talked about because he was blocking the, the time, a clock. So I couldn't do my commercials the way I wanted to. So you messing up the game now, but oh, you know, man, welcome, Big A. Welcome. Thanks. Tell everybody about yourself, there. Tell everybody about yourself real quick. Um, I'm Big A, the one and only. <laughs> okay, then that's nah, it. Then. Nah, nah. <laughs> I've made a few well, words. <laughs> 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 um, part of GoodfellasTV.com. Um, we've been doing the movement for a long time, and you know, Kingpin Marketing Promotions. You see us all out in the street. You know, what I mean, if you see me. It's something going on. All right, cool. Uh, <laughs> if you see me, it's definitely something going on. Uh, that's good to know and stuff because both of y'all, like, I would like both of y'all input on what I wanted to talk about in this segment here. Mm-hmm. And it's about the correct way to market yourself. Okay. And I'm, uh. both of y'all guys do that and stuff. So 
See, I have questions for y'all. You know, I work okay. on some things here. Now, for a young artist, because you did talk to my group, uh, one of a, I am one of a kind before, and you yeah. gave them some outstanding information, though. But I want every, all the young artists, because I do have a lot of young artists that listen in and everything. What is the correct way from square one for a new artist to market themselves? Right now? Right now. Well, I, I would say, first and foremost, like f- figure out who you are or what you're trying to say at the moment first. Before, before anything else, because you know, if, if you're just making songs just to make songs, then it's like it's just the wrong business for you, you know. But if you got something to say, or you know, if you represent something similar to my man Legato Shine, you know what I mean? Yeah. We, who we'll get into yeah. in a little while. Yeah, no problem. You know, but, he's, um, he's gonna catch it. Yeah, you know. But um, you know, like, like I said, like like have a story to tell. Like like have something that people you want to hear. You know, F- from that point on. You can, you know, you figure out, like, all right, cool, this is me. Then, then it's like, all right, cool. Then you can start thinking. Like, I, I, I'm big. I think I feel like every artist should have like some type of logo. Mm-hmm. You know, like, like artwork. Artwork is so important to me because this, this is art. You know, like you look at it as like rap music. Mm-hmm. Some people, but I look at it as art. It's like you're you're painting a picture with your words and your, you know, your visuals. So, you know, like Eminem. Uh, Eminem's remember Eminem's album covers when he had like his old house. I think it was uh, his second album. He had like the old house he used to live in, um, Eight Mile. And yeah, that was it was in black like and white. Album, like yeah, that was, that was called Marshall Mathers yeah. Project. You, 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 you know what I mean? Or, or Kanye? Look at Kanye. Look at his artwork. As much as him, like you know, he's got you know, he's got the bear. He's got like his distinct artwork that when yeah. you see that, you're like, yo, you know, that's Kanye, Kanye West. Yep. Like you're telling the story. So visualize like who you are, what you have to say, and how you want to look to the world, and then just think of yo, think of just. Remember, it's it's about the music also. So mm-hmm. I mean, you know, like, like, like I said, you you wanna you you have something to say. So you know, like, put yourself out there as this is me, instead of like, yo, check out this MP. Like, you know what I mean? Like, you, yeah. there's so many people doing the club record, right? You right. know, like, there's so many people doing the the hood record, the the girls record. Like, yo, make a record that you know, like that. It's all part of like your story and figuring out who you are. Like, like we talked about, like. Yo, the cat that comes in is like, yo, has a, has a rap song about like how he couldn't get this chick. Mm-hmm. Will probably sell more copies than that guy. It's like, yeah, I got ten chicks about the menage, like because <laughs> it, there's no there's no reality to it. Yeah. But then when you hear a story like, yo, I remember, you know what I mean? Like, you know, like your story is gonna connect you with your fan base, and if your fans connect with you, they're gonna spend money. Okay. And that's, that's how key. you win. Also, I, okay. I, I would say. Um, Use the internet. A lot of people forget the simple Word. things is that that you have at your at your disposal. Like, uh, look at Odd Future. They got a Word. following worldwide. Like, not just in Cali. They build in Cali, but they went worldwide with their following. You know why? They use the internet. They use their videos, and they kept it generic. What they believed in, what was generic, which was them keeping themselves real. You know, no matter what they wanted to do, they did it. No matter what the labels told them to do they didn't do it they felt yep. they felt how they want how they felt hip hop should be interpreted they did it their way and and if you do it your way and you stick to your guns mm-hmm. no pun intended comedy guns if you <laughs> stick to your guns um regardless of who tells you no Kanye got set Kanye was told no a thousand times right. look where he's at um Jay was told no believe it or not a lot of times when he was coming up mm-hmm. look where he's at look no, at Russell Simmons the whole reason Def Jam exists is because he wanted to work at a record label. He tried to bring the idea of rap music to all these record labels, like back then it was like CBS, or whatever, mm-hmm. and they didn't want to hire him. So yep. it's like, you know what? I'm gonna do my own thing, and that's how Def Jam got created. Right, right. So, so, so shout out, be, uh, Crush Ruben. <laughs> so pretty much yeah. to sum it up, just go with what you know, what you feel is what you interpret it as good music, and being able, like you said, being able to relate to. You know the people who are going to be listening to your music, and then give your music to people who you think is not going to listen to your music, and see what they have to say about it. But always go with your gut. Always go with your All gut. Right, cool. Not like my gut. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we just had my man. How do you say his name again? Legato. Legato Shine. Legato Shine. Okay, okay. But okay. I'm gonna give him a pass because he's from Long Island. I, I see my man right over there, so I'm sure he could probably even say it, you know, better. So, yeah, you know, shots my man Legato Shine. So, but being that, you know, he, okay, never mind. Jay Prez got it. See, I was gonna mess with him about it for a while and stuff because he wasn't on camera. 
Legato, but I'm not gonna front. I told you before, even before you were on the air, I was like, yeah. when I first uh, started to work the project, I, I, I spelt the name wrong when I first sent out the email blast. Right. I spelt it L E G, like Legato. Oh, you spelled it like yeah. What the real meaning is? Yeah. O- only. Luckily, only 13 people like got that first email, so it worked out. <laughs> but then I had to proofread. I'm like, oh, wait a minute. So now nah, it's Legato Shine. Shout out to him. One of the dope new artists that we were talking about that, you know, authentic hip hop. All right. Let Jay Press do her thing and stuff. Right. So now make sure that you're in the camera and stuff. Matter of fact, hey, Press, wouldn't it be better for Big A just to slide down a little bit? Where are you going? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. See, uh-huh. see that. See people. That's real management. That's real people that yeah. work with you and stuff. They know the artist is supposed to shine. They're gonna get this because they're getting that check, so they don't care. <laughs> see, that's what it is. That's what it is. They getting that check, <laughs> so it's all good. So I was gonna wait for the next segment, but um, I did get the two important questions. Let me ask these guys one more question yeah. and stuff. All right, how important is it for artists? to have the right package like you know you see a lot of artists they write their name on the cd and okay easy <laughs> and, and oh, you know man. with a mark or whatever and stuff i understand right. for me i understand times are hard or whatever but all that money you're spending on trying to floss and all those drinks you should be using it on the correct it doesn't cost that much you can get it done for like what fifty dollars or something like that oh, yeah this, this is easy to me you know it, in this day and age with all the technology that's at everybody's disposal it's simple things as your presentation yeah. that can make you millions versus a couple of dollars on the street what i mean is a lot of people know about graphic designers i mean everybody in here knows a graphic designer yeah. whether you've done it yourself or whether you know somebody who's learned it shout out craigslist you know or right. uh, friends or Facebook whatever or somebody whatever. you know yeah. is in college that somebody who, who does it right who, who might do it for free or just because they want their name out right Pack, packaging yourself it sounds funny saying that but but <laughs> do. yeah but but having having the right way of of a presentation to give to somebody who may be in the executive level is is as simply as having a great color your logo you have to have great pictures which is simple the artwork you know what i mean mm-hmm. your pictures and simply making it look like Something advertising is gonna stand out. A color like this, you never forget. Cameras that way. Oh, sorry. <laughs> a color like this. <laughs> I got work with it. Got work with it. <laughs> All about the presentation. <laughs> a, color, a color like this, something that's gonna stand out, where people are not gonna forget who it is, or you know, they 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 see it a couple times, you won't forget the color. It's green. Color yeah. like money. It reminds you of a whole bunch of different things. You know, simple simple marketing terms that even Joe Blow or Uncle Rallo from the corner can tell you. You got to do something different. You got to yeah. stand out. All right. To, to kind of build upon what he said, it's, it's like simple stuff. When you give me a CD, if there's writing on the CD, I'm already not going to take it seriously. It doesn't matter. You know what I mean? It, and it's not because I don't want to, but it's like the average person has maybe five to ten seconds to figure out whether they care about anything you're saying. You know? So, you know, you got to... Instagram time. Yeah. You know, like your artwork is so important. You know, like I've seen some some dope, dope art... Even the lack of art. For example, remember the Kanye West uh, Yeezus project, right? right. Mm-hmm. What stood what stood out from that project was that there was no artwork. There was literally nothing, and that was like the gimmick. So whatever you do has to be also di- at the same time. I don't want to see like the old Cash Money cover where you're like pixelated, <laughs> like 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 you're behind like two cars, like you know, like you know, like the little diamonds with bling on and, the and, letters and, and all that. Bling. Yeah, like <laughs> you know, like 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 your artwork is important because that that for the average you know DJ blogger. You, you know, whatever. Like, the, if the artwork looks corny, like I'm not taking it seriously. You know what I mean? Or it's just gonna be harder for me to make somebody else take it seriously. So, right, right, right. You gotta, you gotta come correct. Like, yo, you should already have your CD. Yo, check me on the website. Here's, here's the flyer. I don't think rappers surely like have business cards because it's like, wait, are you a rapper or a business? You know I mean? <laughs> you know? But a flyer is cool. You know what I mean? Like, like something where they could fe- find you on social media. Right. Mm-hmm. right. Have, you know, have your, your Facebook, your, you know, your internet on, on point, and something, something about you that um, stands out. Stands out. Not, not, not to. You know, I don't want to like brag about me or anything, but like little guns. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, say what you want to say. Stick you know. Your chest and, out. That you dude know, is everywhere. And, and by the way, I, I got that whole idea from um, from Redman's character because yeah. when I was an intern at Def Jam, 
They had the old Red Man hat right in the office. I was in the college department at this time. The head. And they had like Red Man's, like, you know, the, the mat. It wasn't like, you know, little guns, but it was in the same thing. Right. It was just chilling in the corner. Every day I'd be in there just looking at it like, yo, that must have been dope back in the day. Like, uh-huh. yo, you, know, you remember the character? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. And Red. it just stuck in my mind. I was like, how ill would that be to see, you know what I mean? And then, you know, so, you know, look, look at this Big Sean thing right here. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? We didn't invent that. You know, it wasn't us to like, yo, I got this revolutionary this- idea for phone. Nah. Baseball. You see something hot, you know what I mean? Like, you know, that that represents you or what you're trying to say and then put it out there. You know what I'm saying? You know. And, you know, and I used to think that was nonsense mm-hmm. until the situation happened to me like when I moved back to New York and I was looking for artists mm-hmm. to work with. And there was one artist and I saw him perform. And I was like, he's the dopest thing I've ever seen in my life. White dude. Mm-hmm. And I'm like, damn, this guy's dope. So I was like, yo, I want to buy a CD. And he gives me a CD and he has this number written on it. It was, it was hard to read and his name. So I'm looking at this, I'm not going to listen to this, you know, he's not serious about it. About three weeks later, I'm working and stuff. I said, let me listen to this and stuff. It was the dopest shit I ever heard. And I'm sitting there like, Dak, I got to call this dude. So after I figured out the number, Uh Mm -hmm. you know, he came out here and blew every single showcase there was in New York. Wow. Shut it down. White dude. Wow. Yeah. Shut it down. The dude can sing. Wow. He can rap. Wow. I watched him battle 10 guys and blew them brothers. We was at a hood showcase. Wow. And I was sitting there, you know, I was was a little tipsy. You know, and they, the judge was like, hip hop alcohol. is always better like that. Yeah, yeah, shout, no, that shout out to the free alcohol. Oh, you know, I slowed down. We endorse I, that. I slowed down. I slowed down. And I was at the bar and I, and I, and they was letting the guys cipher, you know, battle each other. Mm-hmm. You know, and they was really going in. They was letting, while they were tallying up the score. So I turned around. And I was giving the order a drink. He's like, I'm going to go up there. And it didn't register to me. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, shit. Come back. Yo, yo. And he went up there and blew every single one of them down. And I was saying, I said, yo, man, you didn't tell me you can do that. Like, you didn't ask me. Mm, wow. it's just, he's just right. that type of person and stuff. Like, oh, if I feel like doing I'm going to go ahead and bust this dude down. White dude. Shout out Shameless Plug. Hmm. White what, dude. What's his name? Shameless Plug. Shameless Plug? Yeah. So we should South you- Jersey. What part of Jersey? What's that part? Of Jersey? Uh, I like Mount Law, way out there. Oh, stuff okay, like that. right. That's the bottom. Blue short dude, yeah, red beard. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, when we did um, NYU joint, last station we did, he was playing. I mean, I said, yeah, who's that kid? White dude, White dude red dude. beard. Yeah, yeah, I sing. Yeah, you know, that, that, that's I shout out his government, but the dude is the dude is nasty. Hmm. I, I tell you, just you know, regarding the story about Lil Red's head, you know, the the little, the uh, red man's character, mm. the the funniest thing to me that I've seen. In a long time, is Redman himself actually seeing Little Guns? Oh yeah! In the New- at the Newark Festival, and we were taking pictures with him together. The look on Redman's face was so classic that to this day, when I look at that picture, it's that much more funnier to me right now <laughs> because I seen the real that his his face was like mm-hmm. get the. And, and then the, the, the picture started coming, so then he had to change his look and smile, but he was standing there like, I can't believe somebody took my idea and evolved on it. And like, he was really looking in awe, and I, 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 that was that's something for I, I feel you, I feel a million, you. million looks. All right, we, we're going to go on a quick break here, but we got Legato Shine. Legato Shine. There we go. Like, Legato Shine. Let, let everybody know where you're from, who you are real quick. We're going to go on break, then we're going to come back and focus on you since you was late. I ain't going to say nothing. But. Yeah, yeah, yeah. First, first of all, you know, I got to apologize for that because I try to be on time, but the F train was backed up an hour. Yeah, so yeah. Uh, let's ju- just I'm going to give you that. I'm going to give you that one. I am Legato Shine. I represent Roosevelt, Long Island. And uh, I guess when we come back from break, we're going to jump into a little bit of this history. All right, cool. Shout out Public Enemy. No doubt. All right, we're going to go on. B- okay. We're going to go on break. J Prez be killing me in this. So we're going to go on break. I'm Mr. Dre. This is Dre's House on FLO Empire Radio. Yeah. Got my man DJ Tommy Guns, Legato Shine. For some reason, I feel like I'm saying that Big wrong. A. And Big A in the building. We'll yeah. be right back. Take us, yeah, J Prez. I'll make it a lot simpler for you. You can just take the baseline out. Uh huh. Uh-huh. Let it bump though. Uh-huh. From standing on the corners bopping To driving some of the hottest cars New Yorkers ever seen For dropping some of the hottest verses rappers ever heard From the dope spot with the smoke block Clinging the murder scene You know me well from nightmares of a lonely cell 
my Man. only hell But since when y'all niggas know me to fail Nah, we all my niggas with the rubber grips Or shots And if you with me, mama, rubber your t- And what not I'm from the school of the hard knocks We must not let outsiders violate our blocks And my block, let's stick up the world and split it 50-50 Uh-huh, let's take the dough and stay real jiggy Uh-huh, let's sip the Chris and get pissy pissy Flow infinitely like the memory of my n***a Biggie Baby, you know it's hell when I come through The life and times of Sean Carter in it, volume two Locked down in a 10 by 4 Controlling the house We live in hard knocks We don't take over, we ball blocks Burn them down and you can have it back, daddy I'd rather that I flow for chicks wishing They ain't have to strip to pay tuition I see your vision, mama I put my money on the long shots All my ballers, that's born the clock No one will be on top Whether I perform or not I went from lukewarm to hot Sleeping on futons and cots, the king size, green machines, the green fives, the scene pies, let the thing between my eyes and the lies, life ills, then I put it down tight grill, I'm tight grill with the phony, rappers, y'all might feel we homies, I'm like still, y'all don't know me, I'm tight grill, when my situation ain't improving, I'm trying to murder everything moving, feel me? Just blaze. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Uh. Killer. All the girls see them. Look at his kicks. Look at his car. All I say is, look, mommy, I'm no good. I'm so hood. Clap at your soldiers. Sober. Then leave after it's over. Killer. I'm not your companion. Or your man stand. Don't hit me when you want to get rammed in. I be scrambling. With lots of mobsters. Shot for lobsters. Cops and robbers. Listen, every block is block. Block out. But she liked the way I diddy bop. You peep that? Make one more me kicks. Plus Chanel ski hat. She want the so I give her the. Now she screaming out. Uh, yeah, yeah, she playing with herself. Can't dig it out. Lift her up. Mine's just a fuck yo. Get it out. Pick one up. They want the boy Montana with guns with bandanas. Listen to my old boy Santana. Y'all can't fuck with the. I'm telling ya. Put a shell in ya. Now we bleeding. Get him. Call us. Wheezing, he need his, he's screaming Damn, shut up, he's snitching This nigga's bitching, he's twisted If Fed was listening, damn I'm in trouble, need bail money, shit Where the fuck is my, I got trust for my That's why I fuck with my, that's my nigga He gon' come get his, he got love for us That's my, See my days are gone without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And And though my heart can't take no more I can't keep running back to you See my days are gone without you But I'm hurting while I'm with you And though my heart can't take no more I won't keep running back to you
my situation And sometimes I know you get impatient But you don't put on a show to get ovations Take it to court and go through litigations And I respect your gangster Treat you like a princess and put some on your neck to thank you She's my pinch hitter When the starting lineup ain't playing right I come off the bench with her It might sound like I'm gassing you But it takes time to get from the backseat to the passenger We've been creeping and sneaking Just to keep it from leaking We so deep in our freaking And we don't sleep on the weekend Wife is a little bit of tight Wonder why I keep coming home In the middle of the night It'll be alright If y'all bump heads It'll be a fight But I said it'll be alright I really wanna be with you I wanna be real with you I can't leave you Oh damn it, we hope He done got a nine millimeter Player haters can feel the flame for my heater I never really liked to play a fool like that But I love to succeed Z foes fall flat Flat like deja vu And I got another clip down a deja crew I sip Chris down, dumb P Mo with the piss down Just cause I'm pissy don't mean you should miss down Keep them in the fitties and 
Hun, it's all arranged. Anything less than that, you keep the change. Not filthy rich, but bitch, I'm barely broke. Blessed with clothes to keep it hooked like dope. Friends call me guns, sons call me trife. Cause the quick to slide off and slide this dick up in your wife. And that's life. You should learn how to treat her. I guarantee Peter knows how to eat her and beat her. Niggas in the Bronx call me Lex. Cause I push a Lex and I rock a Rolex. And I lounge on Lex. And I love sex. And I wave texts on sets that be trying to flex like Dex. Nigga, God rest your soul. But when you're playing cards with guns, it ain't no time to fold. Ho. New York niggas got crazy game. But out of town niggas is all the same. Brooklyn niggas get crazy loot. That's because when it's beat, they ain't scared to shoot. All them niggas know how to play. Mac the 600 getting crazy pay. Niggas out of Queens got shit on lock. Strack with the clock running up in your spot. But if it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap shit probably never would be going on. So tell me where you from. Uptown, baby. Uptown, baby. We gets down, baby. I'm for the crown, baby. Now if it wasn't for the Bronx, this rap shit probably never would be going on. So tell me where you from. Uptown, baby. Uptown, baby. We gets down, baby. I'm for the crown, baby. With it, every continent love when I spit it. Corners the blocks, even the cops feel it. Brothers on lockdown, on they cop feel it. It's real in the field, the last Mohican who survived in the streets and did something decent. Now I got plans to buy the whole hood. Legit now, I ain't got a lot of no judge. I make hits now, money I flip now. Hood fella, every honey wanna kiss now. I lit up my neck. <laughs> welcome back, welcome back to Dre's house on FLO Empire Radio. I'm Mr. Dre. Uh, Tommy decided he wanted to do something. I don't know. And we got my man Big A over there, and then my man guest a little late, you know. But it's all it's all good. It's good. We got my man Legato Shine, Long Island finest, no in the building. What's up? Ain't nothing, Big Dre. How you feeling? Man? I'm good. I'm you good. Over here doing big things. Oh, I'm trying, man. You know, I'm the little man. I'm the little old man and stuff. <laughs> you know well, what I'm saying? Let me say this, man. It, it, it's guys like you that keep this thing going, man. Well, you know I'm what I'm trying, saying? Man, I'm Somebody trying, got to do it for the end. I'm industry. trying, man. I'm trying to get my uh, Ralph McDaniels on and stuff. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you doing it, brother. You succeeding. It's a new year, 2015. No. Big things. You know what I'm saying? No doubt. No doubt and stuff. Uh, Jay Prez, put my camera on, please. Oh. 
you know what? I need to shut up because she's on top of it. I spoke out of turn. <laughs> <laughs> I spoke out of turn. She was already doing it, so I'm going to shut up. Shout out to J.E. Press. Yeah, yeah, she got it. She got a handle and stuff. I'm like, I'm forgetting there's a time delay on this thing. I got it, baby. Ooh, I got it. Right. Right. Did she, uh, y'all heard that? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm Hey, hey, okay, I, I gotta shut up then. <laughs> I gotta shut up. Let her do her thing and stuff, you know. Uh, okay, back to you, my brother. Now you say you're from Long Island and stuff like that. So how do you separate yourself from other Long Island rappers? Because I know there's a lot of them out there, and there's a lot of one, a lot of them out there that is garbage. Uh huh. How do you se- <laughs> how do you separate yourself from that? Because I heard your stuff. I heard you a couple years ago, uh-huh. and you had some hot stuff. But how do you basically separate yourself from from that garbage to what you are? Um, pretty much. Um, I'm just from a I'm a different breed of MC. Um, I come from a whole different era from what's going on now. And um, back to that comment, Long Island they got some. It's a, it's a, a handful of great artists in Long Island, and as with anywhere you go, it's a whole lot of garbage. So it's just weeding out. And finding out those those gems, you know what I'm saying? Right. But um, you know, I come from a whole different era with it, so um, I just stick to my guns and do what I do. Um, I like to say I'm a real artist. I'm a real um MC. Um, I don't follow what's going on. You know what I'm saying? I think that's the problem with the new artists. What's winning? <laughs> this dude, this dude over here. Man. <laughs> you know everybody can see you, right? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> what up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to focus on my man. And I'm looking at this out of the corner of my eyes. I'm serious. Do it for the grand. I'm trying to go hard with the, the questions. Do it for the I ain't going to do it. This dude, man. But, um, okay, I, I got what you say. Yo, he, he got a radio voice, though, and stuff. He sound like, uh, what's my man? Oh, uh, I can't say Michael stage. J. White? Nah. Oh, yeah, yeah, him, too. Him too. Like him, too. I'm thinking about the dude, Lenny Green. Oh, oh okay. He got a Lenny nah, Green nah. voice and stuff. Oh, oh, well, he a rapper. He better have a radio voice. Yeah, word, right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, let me let, let me uh let me get my history on because I know yeah. I came late. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah. Let, you, let me get my history. You got three on, minutes, man. man. Go ahead. Yeah, three minutes. Sometimes that's all. You, hey, look, look. Sometimes they box you in, and you got to figure out a way to make those three minutes work no for doubt, you. No doubt. So you better make it work. See, you got that, two that, minutes that now. goes back to the point of of being a, a a real artist because I've been in spots. Sometimes they want you to just do one song, and you mm. got to get your point across in that one song. Yeah, I've been gonna... in, and most of the time in my career, I've been when I go perform, I always tell my guys, okay, let me see the crowd. I learned that from Karis One. Come in the come in the arena, study what's going on, look at your stage, see where you're going, and see how you're gonna attack so right. i study the crowd first and see what kind of crowd that i'm dealing with first and if it's a hip-hop crowd then it's always a lot easier but sometimes you get these hip-hop crowds and some of these young artists they brought their aunt down they brought their cousin they brought their mother they brought their grandmother so i'm a respectful artist okay so i say how am a you know i don't want to get on the stage and with these people in there and start cursing up a storm now how so come we got to attack music, man? Huh? how come you send me the uncensored music now because it's an uncensored show right Oh, okay, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I was, you caught me off guard. <laughs> I, I was trying to mess with him, but like, he just messed my joke all up and stuff like that. But uh, real, real talk, real talk, real talk. <laughs> no, 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 no. I got your back. <laughs> this is Dre's house. Last time on Dre's right. house. <laughs> I know, right? Right, this, this is gonna be funny to watch again. But um, what was the first? Because you said you grew up in that what happened and now era and stuff like that. What was the first song that you heard? Like, yo, I'm in love with hip hop. Mm. Uh, probably if I could re- remember when I was young, um, I thought I was like DMC. From me and my cousin used to, you know, from back then, I grew up on Run DMC, like early '80s, and the whole culture was different then. You know, we, we coming from tape cassettes, and uh, I think like Friday night was the night for hip hop to really blast off. Right, right. So you knew when Friday night came, you better have a pen and a paper. To, in your tape recorder to record what went on so you could listen through the rest of the, rest of the week. I right. mean, it wasn't no Facebook, wasn't no Instagram, wasn't no Twitter. It's, it's so, it's out there now for everybody to get to. Like then, you, you didn't have easy access to it. Um, If you caught your artist on TV that you love, that was a major deal. True, true, true. Just to see an artist on TV. You understand what I'm saying? So when Ron DMC finally broke through with that video on MTV, um, I'm the king of rock. Yeah. No- I still remember the video like this day. They came through, kicked the doors open, had their Adidas on. Everybody thought they was Ron DMC. Shout out Aerosmith. So, you know. You mean walk this way. 
No, no King, King of Rock. King of Rock. King of Rock. King so of Rock. Talking about that one versus Walk This Way. Walk yeah, This Way walk was this a way. whole. Was it? Was walk, another one. Walk, was, walk This Way was a crossover. Well, let me, that, was, that was a crossover. Let me. That. Let me. Um, walk This Way probably was MTV. Yeah. Um, King of Rock was, it was Ralph McDaniels. No, Ralph it was Ralph McDaniels first. McDaniels first, yeah. But MTV picked up on it very quickly. They quick. picked yeah. up on it. Yeah. All right. Do you remember the first rhyme you ever wrote? Uh, I remember the first rhyme that was wrote for me. My aunt, shout out to my aunt. I just spoke right, about my aunt's grandmother. She wow. had a she had a group called Cognac Queens, and I was eight, and she wrote me a rap at eight years old. What? Wait, wait, wait. Cognac Queens. Cognac Queens. Cognac Queens. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. We're not. We, I know, right? I, I didn't even have no comeback for that one. <laughs> <laughs> okay. 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 Uh, okay. So, how old was you when you did your first show? My first show, I probably was eight or nine. Um, I come from a big family, and every year we have a family reunion, and that's where I got a chance to really hit a stage. Was at the family reunion. No matter what I did at the family reunion, they was gonna cheer me on. So, mm-hmm. probably was not that good. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You always gonna get that family love. Yeah, you got. I got that family Y'all better love. Clap for the God, that, gave me, <laughs> that gave me the support. You know, back then I used to could dance. Uh, you know, uh, you used okay. to? yeah, yeah, used to. Okay, we gonna leave yeah, that. We gonna leave yeah, that. Yeah. We gonna leave that alone. Yeah, we gonna, leave that alone. <laughs> we gonna fast forward. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, like, um, how did you feel when you first got your first paid gig? Um, well, the story goes, I used to be a ball player. I played basketball and um. I was pretty good at basketball, but clearly I didn't have the height. So when I got like in 12th grade, I made a decision. I started going to a studio. A friend of mine started taking me to the studio, and I thought I was, I sounded good. Um, I thought my voice was a little different from what everybody else was doing. So I said, um, I'm gonna do one of two things. I'm gonna pursue basketball or I'm gonna pursue, pursue music. I chose to pursue music. A year and a half later after I graduated, I. Uh, I went to Five Towns College. That was the, the music school. Five I went to Five, five Towns. Five Towns is no joke. Mad far. Yeah, my cousin, no, my, my nephew yeah. went there and stuff. He did a lot of battles up there and stuff like yeah. that. So shout yeah. out Five Towns. I only lasted in Five Towns a semester. Wow. And things worked out for me. You know what I'm saying? Um, after that semester, we was fortunate enough, we landed a deal. We were shopping some stuff around. Mm-hmm. And we landed a deal with um, Loud Records. All right. And that's when Loud was ghetto loud. That was Hip-hop. Loud RCA. Who's right. we? Uh, I was in a group called IGT. It was a four-man group uh, from Long Island, and um, we was over at Loud for three years. And um, when we walked in there, you know, this was how hip hop was. It was a cipher. You know, you used to walk through the doors of Loud, and as soon as you walk in there, it was dark. There was no lights, and it, all you smelled was smoke, and you heard music, hip hop music, and you smelled smoke. Loud. It wasn't shout even called Loud then, but shout that's out to Quad Studios. <laughs> So we um <laughs> we sat down and and we waited and they played the demo and as it was playing he was bopping his head I, going crazy he said yo who's this we said oh, this is us they make a long story short they followed us for like three months they signed us we done some some things over there we we did an album um, we was everywhere Sauce Devil XL Vibe um, we did something back with uh, MTV that's when MTV was doing you heard it first right. and you was only getting that if you was quote unquote the next to, mm-hmm. to, to blow at that time. And um, when the album was supposed to drop, Loud folded because that's when they switched from Loud, uh, Loud, um, mm-hmm. so, no, Loud RCA, RCA. to oh. Loud Sony, and you could feel the climate changing because RCA was so gutter gutter. And when they switched to the other building, there was no more smoking. Right. It was no more loud oh, music. Yeah. Went straight corporate. It was straight stuff. corporate. Shout out. Let me say this real quick. Shout out to the Grave Diggers. Uh, rest in peace, poetic. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's my boy. And shout out to the original DJ Chaos. He's been up here. He was down with that group. So shout out to them. Poetic was ruthless. Mm-hmm. That's my boy right there. You know, mm-hmm. rest in peace to him. Um, and he could afford to be ruthless because New York was winning so hard yeah. back then. We were winning. Yeah. Turn on a radio. I just said New York all day. It was dictating the culture. That yeah. 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 You, the you know, sound you before. Know. Down south took over. Let's think oh, yeah, about yeah. let's think about what was p- being played on the radio. Loud was the number one um, label at that time. Was Def Loud Jam re- relativity. That um, that was probably during Def Jam's cold period. Yeah. Def Jam was it. Loud was the new kids on the block, and Def Jam said, "What are they doing?" Mm-hmm. And Loud was just giving it to you raw. They gave you Wu Tang raw. Uh, then they came with Mob Deep. 
Raw. Mm. Then Where they the came fun? with Big Pun. Raw. Mm. They was just going in the Pun ghetto. Was no, no. Fun was allowed. 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 Allowed.
I will go buy the CD. I mean, I don't want to download the one song for ninety nine cent or whatever. I want or to the buy this. I want to buy the CD yeah. because I mean, if I can get the forty five and give me an album, that's a totally different story. That's what we need to go back to. But I feel like people, a lot of young artists, don't realize white America is buying the music. Yep. And we're sitting here. Urban America is so busy trying to get something for free. You know, these artists, these, these artists, these artists, yeah, exactly. These artists are trying to eat. Mm-hmm. You know, say, granted, you know. I mean, like if we if we're gonna fast forward to nowadays and your artists, I say first and foremost, you need to pick a lane. Um, you need to know where you're trying to get to. You understand what I'm saying? If you are you trying to go straight to Hot 97 and compete with Lil Wayne, them for me that's a no. You understand what I'm saying? I'm just trying to cater to what I do best, and that's real hip hop listeners. And that's why I think now, like I'm actually I actually sell records, and we you know we get checks because I'm just catering to the people that's into what I'm doing. So you it goes back to what you said earlier: stay in your lane. Stay in your lane. You know, First of all, identify you. what your lane is. You understand mm-hmm. what I'm saying? We perfect. talked about that earlier. Exactly. Yeah, we perfect. definitely touched perfect. that. And then you then you attack that. You understand what I'm saying? I don't want to go and and like I, I know a few radio guys that could work radio records, and they say, well, where you want to go? You want to? I, I know I know uh, Flex Assistant, and I could get it to sec Flex for. I said sex. I, I could get it to Flex <laughs> See where for. Where's mine? Is that? <laughs> Shout out to nah, you didn't Sean. catch that. You didn't catch that. Shout out to Miss Legato. <laughs> <laughs> or Miss Legato for the night. Oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> But yeah, they want to go straight to Hot 97 and not knowing that that's so broad and it's so, you're going to spend a whole bunch of money and mm-hmm. get a couple of spins, then you're done. Yep. Yep. You understand yep. what I'm saying? Yep. Done. As opposed to like, that's rotation. why I, when I asked you this earlier. I said, how long you been doing your radio show? Because it's these kind of radio shows that builds your foundation up. Because Flex ain't going pl- you, to play you unless you're paying him. Like, I can come here and and build a rapport with you, and I know when I put out a new record, I'm coming and say, that's my man. I had a drink with you. You are my man now, because we drunk together. Drink so of water. Next, uh, okay. we, we, I just got put on blast. I we've got to orange juice here. That's orange <laughs> juice <laughs> in these white cups. <laughs> yeah, just went to the doctor. Gonna not hurt, hey, gonna hurt, man. And if your doctor watching this show, shout out to him. Yeah, but, um... <laughs> Okay, but I, I got what you said. I got what you're saying. <laughs> I got what you're saying. That's, the and, words of Legato Shine does not reflect. I know, right? Empire Radio. <laughs> but you, you know, you're so right about like, like for me, like there's a lot of stations or whatever. For some reason, I just got a problem with you know, like if your music is dope, uh-huh. I want it, and I'll say it straight out, I want it if it's dope. Right. If it's garbage, I'm probably gonna play it, but I'm gonna tell you, I'm gonna rip it apart. Yeah. You know, wow. and I'm gonna tell you if I think something dope. I'm going to start asking questions. I'm going to send it to people that I feel that are comfortable that can give me a good opinion because I'll listen to it. And don't get me wrong. Just because I don't like something doesn't mean I don't think it can sell. I'll still work with it. You know, it's all about making that money and stuff. But still and all, <laughs> but still and all and stuff like if your music, if you feel like your stuff is legit, send it to Dre's house 2014 at gmail.com. I have no problem pay, playing it. I'm not going to ask for no money, but be prepared for what you're going to get. Because I'm going to send it to my brother Shout out Lazy Lays, MOP's mm-hmm. DJ I'm going to send it to I'm going to ask Tommy, I've done that before He talked to my, he ripped my group apart I wouldn't put it like that Damn, No, you Tommy ripped them apart does. Tommy's a nice guy I mean, Damn, Tommy Gunn so he, he ripped Tommy gently He shook him, he shook him though Damn, he shook Tommy him. But you know what, but the thing is He kept it so real that they got their act together and I give him mad respect for that. Wow. You know, and that's the thing. That's what got to happen. Like, people tell me, Here like. I thought I said nice things all this time. Nah, you, <laughs> you shook him. You shook him. You shook me. And so I was like, Ey. But still, you know, a lot of people don't understand. Like, you got to take that constructive criticism. I get it every day. You know, I can either say kiss my ass or like, yeah, you know, you you know. Like, yeah. this weekend, I you know, like, from Tracy H., I got some very good information. You know, set, you know, like, say, yo, this is what you need to do. And I'm like, you know what? You make sense. Slim, this is what you need to do. He gave me like four or five different ideas. And I'm like, I need to put this in progress, you know. Yeah. But I got to do it the way it works for me. But I listen to that. I mean, they have told me, especially Tracy's my PR. She has told me, you sound like shit. You know, like, yo, stop chewing gum. Mm. Stop saying, you know, you know what I'm saying. Or, or, you know, whatever and stuff. Whatever I used to say or whatever. Mm. You know, she. Or whatever a lot. Yeah, or whatever. But, <laughs> <laughs> you know, but you need that and stuff to even progress yeah. further and stuff. You need they used that. to send you to classes for that. Exactly. You know, it's art, it, 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 it's, it's, yeah, it's, it's artist development, that yeah. which, which there's no longer. There's no more at that, these that, labels. That's the saddest thing that I've heard about the evolution of music labels. They don't want to invest. They just want to. They want. They want to buy products. a finished product. Yes. 
They just want to put money into an already finished product. Yeah. In other words, when you approach them, you gotta know you gotta already know your sound. You already gotta know your lane. You gotta know your marketing skills. You gotta know everything you gotta have, that you have to have all that. a radio a, a label for and back in the day for. You gotta have it now, and all they're gonna do is give you a check. And, and say, that's go why ahead, so many artists. That's why so many artists fell today. Yes. All right. Now we're gonna go on a quick break. I want to uh, Jay. I want to go out. I mean, not go out. We're not going nowhere. But I want to go on this break with uh, Legato's song. Um, what's the name of the song? Cardinal Rule. I Cardinal Rule. Yeah. Uh, featuring. Featuring Bishop Lamar. Big uh, shout out to Bishop Lamar. I kind of thought that was you and stuff, but you know. <laughs> you did all with Bishop. Yeah, yeah, I did kind of do that. Now he sent me a bunch of names. I don't know, yeah. but um. You know, but I'm going to say this and stuff if... Oh, real quick, before I go on break. Uh, top five MCs dead or alive. Top no, five. no, 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 no. Top five MCs dead. Top five that's wow. dead. Wow. Damn. Oh, that's a very Damn. interesting question. You scratching my ball here. Of course, <laughs> Big. Of course, Pac. Of course, Pun. Uh... <laughs> Who else was dead that I really You named three of mine so, so far. Those are definitely uh, my top. Oh, Big L, of course, okay, Big L. Um, and my fifth one, I would have to say... Uh, not Elvis Presley. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what was in your orange juice, brother? Who's the fifth, who's the fifth one, Tommy? Dead, dead, uh, dead artist that was nice like that. Um... Uh, Dude Can we say Easy E just because of the impact he had on the culture? I, hey, anybody else? I ain't I mean, mad I mean, at Easy. I ain't mad at Easy. Did you say we're speaking on who who are dead? Yeah, yeah. 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 I like dude from Dipset. I got that guy got murked. Um, who? Uh, from who? Dipset. What? Uh, I know what you're talking about. Uh, who? Say that again, Jay. Stacks bundles. Stacks. Stacks bundles. Oh, Stacks bundles. bundles. Uh, He's Stack. dead. Yeah, he got. Stacks, he, yeah, Stacks, Stacks been dead for gone a for almost a, a decade. Stacks was 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 was. Yeah, but are we momentum. talking about of all time? Oh, you mean all time? Of all times. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, Easy E definitely fits. I would have to. I would round it off with Easy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He that's I the mean, main I'm, list too. He, he I'm, fits for that. me, for some reason, I got. I mean, like Biggie. For some reason, I got Big, uh, big L too. Yeah. Oh yeah, oh, we didn't say Big, we said big oh, L. We said, we said Big L. Okay. Okay. But that's the, that's my number two and stuff. Cause big uh, L. Oh, you saying in order? Okay. No, I'm saying my order. I ain't say for you to say it in order. Uh, well, I'll give you my order if you okay. like my order. Knock yourself out. And stuff. I gotta give it to to, to Big because Big was the king of NY. He just you know he had a, a short career. He didn't really get a chance to put out as much work as I liked him to. Then um, another artist, the same thing. I gotta go with Pun because I just yes, haven't heard anybody yes. do what he can. His skill set was. And then third, I would come in with um, Big L, because oh man, you ever said pocket? He he said pop. Oh okay. No, I, I said pop. This is his order. This is my yeah, order. This is his this order. Is my, this is my. I'm a New York dude. And if you see all those dudes, that name was yeah. like New York lyrical yeah. crazy. New York. The lyrics just was the, the skill set of the lyrics was just stupid. Then I would go pop because pop probably is. The hardest artist I ever, the hardest working artist I ever came across. I never seen nobody put out that much material, and it was at least consistent for as the skill right. set. So you know that dude was. I think he put out like eight albums in one year. Some crazy, some man. He, he was like, grinding. He, he, he was grinding. He, he, he actually, I think they said that he recorded at least like twenty albums worth of material. Yeah, like straight. And he was still 20. doing movies at the same time. Exactly. He was in the studio, it, 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 and he uh, was performing movies a lot in the too. daytime. Yeah. Exactly. Studio at nighttime. Shout out Poetic just as I watched that today. Or, and um, um then Easy E because of the impact that N W A had. Uh, now I, I I I'm gonna say this. You know, Easy E wasn't the the lyric lyrical yeah, by type far. type of 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 rapper, but he was in the category of like a lot of different rappers where he was an entertainer. He he did put on a good show. He did have a message, which which unfortunately a lot of rappers don't have nowadays a real message, and that's what you have to respect more about him than just the lyrics. You know, you know, being the dead deceased. You know. Right, yeah. and then he did have Jerry Hill's juice dripping in the White House. Yeah, but still, so, yeah. He was still we won easy. Is my number one jam right there. I love we, we won easy. Yeah, that was my jam. It, it I, was just a shame that like you know Dre had to do them like that with with Dre Day. Yeah, I can't oh, wait for this movie. Oh, I can't wait for this movie. Oh, yeah, yeah this movie's supposed to be real. Yeah, no doubt, no doubt. All right, we're gonna go on break. Um, damn, we're getting close. We gotta cut this off. We gonna, I gotta have these guys back up here again because we got too much to talk about, but. We're going to go on break. Um, I'm Mr. Dre. That's DJ Tommy Guns, Big A. I'm going to have Legato uh, report his song. Jay, I hope you have that song. D okay, I got you. I got okay. you. Oh, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. You know, she let me know. DJ, she basically, Jay, told, me, back there in the she basically told me, shut the hell up. You know, <laughs> you know but 
This is um, FLO Empire Radio and stuff. Shout out to them. Shout out to Slim. And shout out to Trixie and stuff. You know, love y'all all. But uh, we're going to go on this break. I'm going to let you take us out on break, introduce your song, and then we're going to come back and finish this off. Yeah, let's go into one of my brand new singles. I call this one Cardinal Rule featuring the big homie Bishop Lamont from Compton. Let's get into it. G-talk, 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 homie. homie. That's the rules That's we the abide rules by. by. I mean, niggas gotta learn how to move. Trust. 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 Loyalty. Loyalty. Rules to this shit. Respect. 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 And most importantly, keep your mind on your musk. Uh, Cause that's the cardinal rule. Learn the rules to the game and do what you do. That's the cardinal rule. That's the code of the streets, homie. Learn how to move. Rest. Coast. That's the card no I've been in this game for years. It made me an animal. It's full to this shit. Wrote me a man. That's the card no road. Never snitch on your homeboy. That's your man with boy. Get your own toe. Never land with hoes. If you gon' play the game, then play with the pro. No time for the rookies. I got dope, but never paying for the puss. That's the card no road. East Coast, West Coast, homie, know how to mow. Shit, glitter ain't go. When 40 ain't the new 30, nigga, you owe. Old ass nigga. Coca crack money. Huh? Never spend your re up. P with the seat up. Huh? How these fuck boys walk around with a teacup. Ram here, pits and paroles. Yes. Every chick got a joke. Yes, Don't get it twist with beef and bologna. Uh-huh. And baby girl, when we smash, get your rag and your soap and wash that ass. Wash that's the car, no rule. Uh-huh. Up north, down south, homie, know how to move. Let's go. Let's go. Uh, Cause that's the car, no rule. Learn the rules to the game and do what you do. Coast. That's the car, no rule. That's the code of the streets, homie, learn how to move. Yeah. That's the car, no rule. I've been in this uh-huh. game for years. It made me an animal. It's rules to this shit. Wrote me a man. That's the car, no rule. West Coast. Okay, rule number one, no snitches allowed A bitch niggas neither, y'all know my style I hate scary ass niggas, won't pop that pistol But pop a lot of shit, funny like Billy Crystal That's why it's me and two guns, three amigos Does my dead all by my lonely, one shot, no sequel Bitches ain't shit, but niggas fall in love with them Knew she was a hoe, but they be steady handcuffing them Niggas like, yes man, me, I'm no Sometimes it man, hit man, ready to go My Tim's untied, gray hoodie fatigues Real live shit, nigga, keep your skinny ass jeans it's mono, we mono, only for the real That singing ass shit, y'all pussies need to chill Real niggas don't sing, I consider that a rap Only shit I let slide is Luther and Bobby Womack What? Hold up, I dropped the hitty, nigga <laughs> Damn, remix, remix Uh, cause that's the car, no roll Learn the rules to the game and do what you do That's the car, no roll That's the code of the streets, homie, learn how to move Press. Coast. That's the card no rule. I've been in this game for years. It made me an animal. It's rules to this shit. Wrote me a man. That's the card no rule. Never snitch on your homeboy. Trust. Never lay it with hoes. Respect. I got Joe, but never paying for the push. Keep your mind on your mind. That's the car, no roll. East Coast, West Coast. That's the car, no roll. No roll. Glit ain't go. When 40 ain't the new 30. Never spin your re up. Pete with the seat up. That's the rules we abide by. Ram head, pits and parole. Loyalty. Every chick got a joke. Respect. When we smash, get your rag and your soap and wash that ass. That's the car, no road. East Coast, West Coast. That's the car, no road. Phantom. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's <laughs> <laughs> okay, I thought we were going to play another song, but okay. We're going we're gonna to close the shout out. 
Uh, tell everybody what that song was again, Delegato. That was the Call No Roll featuring <laughs> Bishop Lamar. Okay. Say? Bishop Lamar, sorry you're not up here and stuff, but uh, we'll work that out next time. But uh, we got to close out real quick here, real, real soon here. But I want to make sure everybody gets everybody's information out there. Real quick, this is Dre's house. I'm Mr. Dre. DJ Tommy Guns, Legato Sean, Big A, Goodfellas TV. Um, Don't worry, I'm on it. Okay, I got to take my glasses on. <laughs> GoodfellasTV.com. That's right. Artist interviews. I didn't know we got interviews. Sports, hip hop, culture, news, right. concert. Okay, he does everything. Right. A little bit. Uh, we, he does a little we, bit we of everything. We do it all. We do it all. All right, just, all. just Google DJ Tommy Guns or. Can we Google you, Big A? IDR. You type in IDR. I spell it for you. That's too much shit. Yeah. DJ, <laughs> DJ, <laughs> Google DJ Tommy, Tommy Guns. And All right. And if you ever see the mascot, you're not going to see Tommy too far away. Lil Guns. Yo. All right. Lil Guns is the mascot. I see name. that dude everywhere hugged up on a female and stuff. Yes, sir. Shout yeah. out to Lil Guns. Great yeah, no, doubt. Like. no doubt. No doubt. <laughs> so we're going to close it out. I want Legato to. St- oh, no, 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 no. No, we're not going to let him finish it up. Let everybody know where they can find your information at Big A. Uh, you can check me out over all over the internet. Uh, be careful what you find. Now, <laughs> it's Big A. Shout uh, out you X can video. Look me up. IDR, that's A-H-D-A-Y-A-R. That's A-H-D-A-Y-A-R. you find me out. My email is djbiga.gftv.com. This dude just gave me so much ammo to go Hey, I mean, I just, I just go, you know. I mean, I'm used to this. It's <laughs> okay. From the hip, man. From all the right. Hip. Tommy. Uh, you can check me out Instagram DJ Tommy Guns I'm on Facebook all the time Tommy Brown Look it up Twitter too I mean you know I check it once in a while DJ Tommy Guns NJ Of course GoodfellasTV.com That's right This website You're, If you don't know about it I don't even know what familiar. to tell you Get you familiar, familiar. And Get familiar. Of I'm course, trying to be down Yo, you already know. You already Dre's know. on there. Legato Sean, of course, is all, all over Goodfellas TV. Exactly. You know what I mean? We represent for that real hip hop. No doubt, no doubt. Uh, Legato? You can definitely find me on Instagram at Legato Sean 21. Go check out that music. Go to iTunes and type in Legato Sean, L A G A T O Sean. Or go to CD Baby and check out what you've been missing at CD Baby. And just Google me, man. I got a huge body of work and get to know me, get familiar. And, um, Hit me, man. I'm one how, of the most. How, how do you spell like Legato? L A G A T O. All right, there And by the way, I got a plug. I do a TV show for all y'all Long Island cats. I do a TV show that comes on Cablevision in Verizon. We in Brooklyn, the whole Nassau, Nassau, Suffolk, in Queens. It's my show. I've been doing it now for about six months. So get at me if you want to be featured on the TV show. See, that's that bullshit right there. <laughs> no, 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 I was fucking with you. I was fucking with you. I was fucking with you. <laughs> no, 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 no. You, know, no. you got to plug. You, yeah. No doubt, no doubt. See, everybody and stuff, just because you're artist doesn't mean you can't grind in other things and stuff. Make sure you market oh, yourself. Talented. Make yourself a brand. Uh-huh. Make brand. sure you do that. And as always and stuff, uh, j Prez, I'm going to ask you for something in a quick second. I think you know what I'm talking about. But um, you can find me at Dre's House 2014 and everything. If you got some hot music, Dre's House 2014 at gmail.com. Um, I definitely want to shout out Cookie. She's been hitting me up and everything. I was going to say a joke about, you know, because she was complaining about the mic being in your face and stuff, but I was going to say a joke, <laughs> but I let it go and stuff. I was going to, I was going to say what she didn't say and stuff, so it's all good. Shout out to Cookie yeah, out no there doubt. in, no in doubt. TV land. Uh, Cookie didn't see you. Shout out Tanya. Uh, shout out Tracy. Shout out uh, the original DJ Chaos, Michelle. Hope you get better. Hope you're getting better because, you know, I'm still not doing that carriage ride. Um, shout out to my fans, Prudence. Uh, my daughters, um, Tiffany, Tamia, Sheree, shout out to y'all. Love you to death. Shout out to my moms and stuff because she said she was going to watch, but she didn't. And shout out to Ohio State <laughs> winning that national championship. Whoa, yeah, word, no word. Doubt. Shout, shout out to, to Ohio State. All right, so we need to close out. We got to do this real quick. We need to close out. I know I'm going to go a little bit over my time here, but Jay Press, give me an instrumental. I want my man Legato to go freestyle. We're going to close it out like that. Oh, okay. Whoa, 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 whoa. Where you going, Tommy? How you just gonna get up in all my oh, show, right man? Here, you know. I mean, you've been doing that all night, man. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. Okay, there it is right there. We're gonna close it out. This is Dre's house on FLO Empire Radio. Go ahead and do your thing, homeboy. Yes. Yo, yo, yo. You're with the captain, nigga. 
Legato shine, not nines, no jigger, no hot nine, power five, my guys is power. Bring flowers to your burial site. Your body ain't worth it, so we gon' bury your mic. And I ain't worried about the comeback of New York. Cause I ain't never left, homie. What the F you thought? You know the language, the same old sport. Yeah, my IG affiliate. Last run to the death period. Till blood spill like periods. The knockout, I hit him with jabs. Used to hold weight, now you kinda thin in the ass. That ain't a cosign if you're paying for a collab. The coke price went bananas, had to hit him with grass. See, I adapt to it. Black, but I act Jewish. Never going back, homie, that's my influence. A ruler, but still a fooler of the game. A sharpshooter, but still improving with the aim. Take your name at these lame niggas caught up in the fame. We all rappers, but we all ain't a factor. You got your starters, then you got your backups. Don't confuse a hustler with a slacker. Huh? I make something from nothing. The ledge deep, but I say fuck it, I'm jumping. Now, Lord homie, it's on Y'all done landed in this spot and I'm taking your throne But you ain't never jump, that's where you're stuck in the zone That's an I smell, and it's up in your home ah. Legato shine, EOS oh, That's it everybody, like, that's it, that's it like Shout out to Grace House, we are out, check me out next week We're gonna do a legend show next week, check us out Tommy Guns, Legato shine, Big A, Goodfellas TV Y'all check them out, this is Grace House FLO Empire Radio shout out special thanks to Jay Prez keeping his music going and we are out